CataractCards.com. The new triple, FACO, plus IOL, plus DMEC. This is a very efficient cataract surgery and corneal endothelial transplantation here. So here's the case of the patient who needs to have a cataract surgery, but also have a DMEC at the same time. So triple refers to the three procedures, FACO, plus IOL insertion, plus corneal transplantations. But in this case, the new modern triple, instead of doing a full thickness corneal transplant, just doing a lamellar one. Have sped the video up to 2x, so two times normal speed, but even then, at regular speed, this is a very efficient case. So obviously a very experienced surgeon here. So bending a needle to make a cystitome. And in doing this, a couple of hints. Let's talk about lens calcs. When you do IOL calcs and the patient is going to have a combined FACO and DMEC, remember, you're going to get a shift there, hyperopic shift from the DMEC tissue, usually about a half to half or so. So a smart move here, if you want the patient to have an emetropic or plano outcome, is to aim your IOL calcs for a post-op goal of, let's say, close to minus 0.5. And so there's a nice looking rexus. Also, don't make too big of a rexus. You are going to put inside this eye an air bubble of some sort, some sort of gas or room air, or maybe 16% of SF6, which is a commonly used one. So here the nucleus was prolapsed out of the bag, not too dense of a nucleus. It can be aspirated very efficiently. See the surgeon is sitting superiorly. Looks like phaco probe in the left hand operating on a left eye. And so nucleus came out very quickly. Yes, 2x normal speed is our video speed. So it's a little faster. And now going with a bimanual approach to clean up the cortex. Now when you get DMET graphs these days, the nice part is you can get all these graphs already to your specifications. So when I was doing these with the residents, we would get them already cut to the desired size you want. Obviously, the, the lamellar cutting has already been completed. You can get them stained already with tripen blue dye, and you can even get them marked in terms of orientation, like a letter S or something, so you can see, is the graft in the eye correct or is it upside down? So the nice part there is you can actually order these already done like that. You can even order them already in a, an injector ready to be placed in the eye. So here's the eye well being put in the capsule bag. Single piece acrylic is a good choice. Usually these patients with corneal issues, monofocal lenses tend to be the best, toric or not. But here, removing that viscoelastic from the eye, getting that out completely. And now it's going to be time for the DMEC procedure. Now, there's some great videos on DMEC that we have on Cataract Coach. I learned DMEC by watching other people's videos of it and combining them into a nice video on Cataract Coach. We have some amazing DMEC videos from really talented surgeons. Here at the end, putting in some mild call to bring the pupil down. That's a nice move there. And let's take a look what's going to happen next. Oh, here's a little trap find. Just do a little bit of marking on the cornea to get a guide there. And let's see what's next. What's next is the reverse Sinsky hook to score the undersurface there and take off the host tissue there. Take off the host endothelium and host decimate layer. So there's a, a single 360 swoop there with the uh, invert of Sinsky. And then now it looks like a scraper here. And going around and scraping that off, wow, that was efficient. And now a little tripan blue dye will go in. That'll make it, things a little bit easier to see. And they're going to be washed out. It'll dilute it down a little bit. And then again, the graft, I'm assuming here, was already pre-prepared because this is, again, very efficient surgery. In real time, this was under 10 minutes. So, you know, you surgeons who do this a lot can be very, very good at it. So then here comes the graft. Looks like it's already preloaded on some sort of a de delivery device. And just gently placing it in the eye here. It looks like on the other hand, a little forceps, maybe you're going to grab the very edge of it to help position it. Oh, no, just a BSS cannula. And there you go, tap, 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 tap. And this is a very challenging thing. It looks easy for an expert hands, but learning how to tap this correctly and get the graft on fold, there's a great video from a doctor named Veldman from University of Chicago who explains everything. He is a master of it, and you can learn all those configurations. Wow, there it is. Nicely placed in just about a minute. Time for a little gas bubble and seal up the incisions. Wow, I like it. Impressive. Great video. Thanks for sharing. And by the way, I'd put a suture in that incision.